If you are trying to flip houses, folks, I am here to help you, right? I'm here to teach you the strategies that are going to work for you wherever you're flipping houses, right? I'm an expert house flipper. We're going to go over things like renovation budgets, ARVs, things of that nature, right? The things you guys are missing when you're trying to flip homes, right? In your home markets, out of state, this or that, right? And today, one of my clients is interested in trying to flip this property, right? My client out there in LA, he's going to try to do a remote flip. I'm going to walk him through the process and let him know if this deal is good or not. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs, I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my guy, JJ. JJ, you are an investor from LA and you are interested in flipping this house right here in a little town called Maple Heights, Ohio, right? The address, 18617 Waterbury Ave, Maple Heights, Ohio. It's been on the market for 82 days. Originally listed for like 100 grand. Now it's down to 79 grand. And what we have here is a couple pictures just of the exterior, right? You want to know if this deal is going to work, right? You're seeing if you can make some money flipping this house. Now, myself... I've flipped a lot of houses in this particular market, folks. I also run the largest scattered site uh, rental portfolio of its kind, and I've sold $200 million worth of real estate in this market. So I know a thing or two, right? So if y'all trying to flip houses in the Cleveland market, you could partner with me like JJ's doing, and I could not only give you this education, this insight, but I could actually run the flip for you. Or you could take my information and run the flip on your own. Speaking of doing stuff on your own, folks, I'm grabbing this information, this data, from the MLS. Why? Because the MLS is where the data is. I'm a real estate broker here in the Cleveland market. Data. We need data to do the things I'm about to do in this video, right? So if you're trying to do so in the Cleveland market, darn, drop my pen. Grab me a freshie. Uh -huh. If you're trying to do flips in the Cleveland market, like my guy JJ is, I could partner with you, help you out, give you the data, get it right from me. Uh, if you want to take some of the things I'm teaching you and flip houses in your own home markets, you still need data, folks. And guess what? I got the data for you for free. That's right. Right here. Partner of ours, PropStream, okay? PropStream. They have MLS-like data across all 50 states, folks, and because you watch Holton Wise TV, you can click the show notes below, uh, get a free trial of their services, and then after that, if you choose to continue with them, you get a lifetime discount because you're a Holton Wise TV viewer. Now, you need data, okay? You need data because what is very important, folks, on a flip like this one, 79 grand, you got to know what you're dealing with as far as the ARV. After repair value, best place to do that is MLS uh, MLS services, right? Or the MLS like data from PropStream because you need to know the proper comps. Zillow's comps outdated, folks. Doesn't come real time like this stuff. Now, uh, JJ, here's what we got. We got comps over here in Maple Heights ranging from 60 uh, to 120K, okay? With the majority of those being right up in this range, like this 80K range. So you're not really, there's no like spread here, dog. You're like not spread out at all. I mean, it's not like this is like you could buy it for 80 and you could flip it for 200K, right? This is just like, a, we do a lot of rentals in this market. So yeah, there's a couple homes that were up in the 120K range, but the majority are gonna sell like pretty similarly priced to this, right? It's kind of like an at market price, okay? Uh, in addition to that, Maple Heights has what's called a point of sale inspection requirement, okay? Now, more information on the point of sale process in the Cleveland markets in the show notes below. But the gist of it is the city requires certain violations to be corrected. A lot of exterior stuff in Maple Heights. Maple Heights' POS requirements are actually incredibly stringent, right? So certain things you may not think you need to do uh, to get yourself a flip, you got to do, right? So they... 
uh, want you to do specific stuff, right? They want the house roof replaced. You got to replace the garage roof. You got to side the garage. And then some biggies, they want you to replace the sidewalks and replace the driveway, right? That's the big things with these point-of-sale cities out here in this Cleveland market, right? They, they nickel and dime you uh, on the concrete, right? So a couple cracks in your concrete, you're spending thousands of dollars, right? So more or less, you got to spend at least 30 Gs outside okay outside the house doesn't even get us inside and we don't have any information on the inside so we got to assume you're doing at least a full cosmetic rehab right so in my opinion you're probably looking at a rehab budget here of like 60k that ain't gonna cut the mustard when the majority of your comps are pretty much priced what this property is priced right so uh that right there folks knowing your arv and then understanding your true rehab costs. A lot of people would look at this house and not think it needs 60K, but in reality it does because you got to know uh, what's going on. And then you also have to understand the specific laws the government's going to give to you, right? So for you, JJ, this deal is a no go, bro. I see no scenario uh, where you're able to come in and make any money flipping this house. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.